good morning. I am going to be filming my mom of 10 morning routine for you today. Um, it is a, let's see, today is a Friday and I've got a busy morning ahead. Every morning is a busy morning, but this one is, say hi. Hi. <laughs> this one, um, this is busy because I've got a lot of stuff that I need to get done and then I have somewhere I need to be this afternoon. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this, yesterday I was putting together this sourdough stuff for waffles this morning and I needed to use almost all of my starter. I mean, there was like an itty bitty bit left. Um, <laughs> I There was basically like two tablespoons left. So first thing this morning that I wanna do is feed my starter again because I really need to make bread later today. And I'm gonna need a lot more um, starter than this. So last night I fed it 55 grams of flour and water because there was so little of it. And um, so today I'm actually, I'm gonna feed it 200 grams of each. Or as close to that as I can get. Well, 208, 209, that's what we're doing. <laughs> okay, so 209, flour, and then let's do the water. I usually actually put a little bit more water than flour. No rhyme or reason, it's just what I do. <laughs> okay, and now let me grab my dough whisk. George is unhappy about something. Hold on just a minute, I'll be right back. Okay, I found the dough whisk. I'm doing this one-handed this morning because um, I can't find my tripod and I don't know where my husband is to ask him. <laughs> so we'll do this the best we can one-handed and then I'll probably turn the camera off and get it the rest of the way mixed in because, well, I'm a two-handed girl. <laughs> I haven't had coffee this morning yet, so please excuse the, the babble. Okay, that's about as good as it's gonna get one-handed. So I will see you back here in a few minutes and we'll get started on those waffles. Okay, I am back. I'm caffeinated. I'm actually on my second cup of coffee now. And I am ready to get started now on those waffles. Before I did that, and after my first cup of coffee, I took a quick break to read the kids a book. I wanted to show it to you real quick. So this book, and I'll link it in the description below, The Day in the Life of a Crayon. No, that's not true. The Day the Crayons Quit is what it's called. It's a really, really cute book. It's a lot of fun, it teaches colors, um, but it has a great story too. So I would definitely recommend that one. So let's go ahead and get started on waffles. Okay, I've got my hair tied back now and it's ready to get started. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is add melted butter to the batter. And I keep my, um, I use this giant bucket. It's a 12 quart bucket for both uh, mixing up sourdough and waffle dough and anything that needs to sit overnight basically is what I use this for. Um, it's just the perfect size and because it's plastic, it's so much more lightweight um, and easy to clean. I know that it's really better to use glass or stainless steel, but um, when it comes to cleaning giant sized, um, giant size bowls, glass is really heavy and easy to break. And the stainless steel bowls that I have just take up so much countertop space. So that's why, especially when I need to put something in the, in the refrigerator overnight, one of my doughs, that's why I go with the plastic because it's taller, so it takes up less space and it's easy to clean. So I'll link that in the description below if you're interested in getting one for yourself. Okay, so that's the eggs, and then I need to put in two teaspoons of baking, no, that's not right, three teaspoons of baking soda. I actually need to add two more eggs. This is uh, the recipe tripled. I use the King Arthur sourdough waffle recipe. It is a very, very good recipe for these waffles. Let me grab two more eggs real quick before I forget. Yes. 
Is my finger healed enough to not have the bandage on? As long as it's not bleeding, it should be fine. Okay. Okay. No, she wants to protect it. Well, then put another bandaid on it. Okay. Okay, now we need, I have two and a quarter teaspoons of salt. Okay. So all of the other ingredients were already in the overnight sponge, so that's why I'm not adding any flour or anything because I did that last night. Flour, buttermilk, and starter is what went into this last night. And I will link the recipe below for the waffles so you can see the whole thing. I'm gonna go ahead and turn, it, turn on my waffle iron so that they'll be nice and hot by the time this is done. I have two waffle makers and they each do four waffles at a time. Here's what it looks like all done. Okay, so one of the waffle irons is ready <laughs> at this point. These are two different brands. This first one is a Bella and the second one is a Krups. The Bella I bought two um, like three months ago and the first one that I bought stopped working. <laughs> um, and then, so I had Amazon send me a new one and then a week later, the second Bella stopped working. So I, this is the new Bella that came in and I ordered this one based off of Amazon reviews. Um, so basically probably in another two months, this one will break again and then I'll just buy probably a second one of these. <laughs> um, my husband pointed out that we make waffles at probably, like most families, might make waffles a few times a year and only make <laughs> a single batch but I do a triple batch and I usually make waffles twice a week <laughs> so um, you know we really <laughs> we use these machines so I'm putting a third a cup of waffle batter in each square and a plate to put the cup ahead and close this and I like them to be nice and crispy so I let them once this there I don't know if you can see it but there's a blue light here that says when it's ready but I usually let it go a couple of minutes past that so now I'm just waiting for this one to tell me it's heated enough <laughs> And I have my ovens preheated at 200 degrees to keep the waffles warm as the rest of them cook because this whole process probably takes about 30 minutes, at least. We'll see. We'll time it. for that I'm going to take this silverware out of this packaging. I bought some um, inexpensive silverware at Walmart to use for my catering jobs, which I just had one yesterday. Oh, let's see. Okay, so that's the preps. I just spray these at the beginning with the nonstick spray and then after that um, they're fine. When I first started making waffles a few, a few months ago regularly, I would spray each time before I would put new waffle batter on and I was going through a lot of nonstick spray so now I just do it this way and it works great Whoops. I'm actually gonna put a little bit more than a third of a cup on these because these are just a little bit bigger
white camo um, joggers. I have not seen this recently. When did you last wear them? <coughs> last Friday. They would be clean. They're probably in someone else's drawer. I thought I put them in Ted's drawer. I didn't know that those were yours. Whoever packaged the silverware really loved their job. <laughs> this is this is a little bit overkill. It's cheap it's cheap silverware people. It's not a controlled substance. It's like taped around the plastic. It's impossible. I think they might have spent more on the tape than they did on making the silverware. There we go. Okay, starting to hit a ribbon now. I'm gonna end up cutting off the finger. Okay, let me check my waffles. Oop, those look good. Yum. So the thing about the cruts is that the holes, or the, I don't know what they're called, it's not as deep as the Bella, and so the waffles end up being thinner. I personally like the really thick ones, so whenever this one dies, I might try to find a different waffle maker that has the big ones. <laughs> okay, let's check these. Yep, those are perfect. Now we're really rolling. So while we're waiting on the next waffles, I'll talk a little bit about my luncheon yesterday. So it was a luncheon for 12, and um, I brought tablecloths, dishes, and silverware and cloth napkins. I wanted it to be a really pretty presentation. The kids are going a little bit crazy in the background. Um, hold on, let's check the waffles. <laughs> They're ready, yay! Okay. I like to keep the waffles in a single layer because otherwise they get a little bit soggy in the oven. So I just keep piling them on this plate. Here we go. Okay, let's load this back up. This one is 
taking forever. Okay, so these are the tablecloths that I used. Um, they're Pioneer Woman from, um, from Walmart. They're actually a surprisingly good quality <laughs> for a Walmart tablecloth. These were the biggest ones that they had. Um, these are great for eight foot, um, the eight foot, you know, plastic tables, that folding tables, I guess they're called. So I have two of those. And then um, I found these, these nap, <laughs> they need to be washed, but these napkins are great. I found these on Amazon. The best part about these is that they don't need to be ironed. So they're, this is a great everyday napkin um, because you don't have to iron them. So I'll link these on Amazon below. These are fantastic. Okay, let's check the waffles. <laughs> Yep, those are ready. So you'll see now that um, now that I'm not using the nonstick spray, they do stick to the top, but that's okay because they come right off. See how much thinner that one is though than the other one. So that's not how I like them, but my husband actually likes them better. Okay. And then so I still need to wash these. I was so tired when I got back yesterday. I didn't, I washed the plates and that's it. But these um, are nice melamine platters. So the sandwiches went on those. And then I'm just gonna take you over here and show you the plates that I use because they're so pretty. And some of them are Fiesta wear like these. And then I put them in the clean tub. So then, I have some Pioneer Woman dishes mixed in. More Fiesta wear. And then, so this is a Pioneer Woman. And I've actually, I, I collected these over probably like the past six years. That one's a really pretty one. And these used to be our everyday dishes, but then I got something different. I love that one. I think that one is so pretty. This one's really pretty too. That one just looks so pretty and vintage to me. There's another one of these. And then I have this one, which I think is really pretty. And then this one. So this was the stack of dishes that everybody used and they were on the red and white tablecloth. And it was just so lovely. It was such a nice, um, nice little luncheon. I'll go ahead, I'll show you some pictures that I took um, of the food. There we go. Back to the waffle makers. Okay, let's check these. I'm gonna give those just another minute. And put these in the sink to be washed. And get the napkins and tablecloths in the laundry for next time. I didn't actually use this one. I think I did too. It's okay. We can we can clean it up.
Can y'all start working on getting the table set, please, for waffles? Okay, the last of the waffles are cooking. I've got three trays full ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and serve these up. I always use kitchen shears to cut the waffles for the toddler. It makes it go so much faster. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this served up and these will keep cooking and I'll just come over and get them when they're ready. Okay, breakfast is over now. Basically, generally, <laughs> um, not every morning because some mornings are just too, the, it's just too fast paced, but um, three or four mornings out of the week, I read the proverb of the day to the kids and um, we go around the table and I ask what they learned from it. So everybody tries to pick out one thing. Um, then after we do that, we work on our memory so right now we're working on memorizing 2 John. And then after we're done working on that, 
we go ahead and work on memorizing the children's shorter catechism. So right now, I think we're on question number 24. Um, so after we do that, 25, 25? <laughs> question 25 is where we are. After we do that, um, the kids do their dining room chores, which is clearing off the table, wiping it off, sweeping around the table. The dishwasher gets unloaded, the dishes get done. Um, one of the kids is responsible for bringing laundry downstairs. So all of those morning chores get done and then we start working on school. Now, during the school year, that involves a lot more. So we participate right now in classical conversations. So with the younger kids, with the younger kids, I go over their memory work with them and then they have their reading and history assignments and their math assignments. We're not, it's, it's summer now, so we're not doing classical conversations, but we do still continue to do math throughout the year. So that's what we're getting ready to do right now. Um, I work with the younger kids on their math. Um, some of the kids are independent, like all of the high school kids and middle school kids are independent with their math. Um, we do use Nicole, the math lady, to go along with Saxon for the older kids that need it. Um, but then I'm working with, um, let's see, the nine-year-old, the seven-year-old, and the six-year-old. Um, so we do that at this time. The two-year-old doesn't do math yet. <laughs> so that's what we're getting ready to do now. We use Saxon math and we have, that we had a brief time period um, like 10 years ago where we used teaching textbooks, but then we went back to Saxon. So that's where we are now. And we're gonna go ahead and start working on that. And throughout that time, I'll also be doing some phonics lessons with the kids who need it and also reading books to George as needed. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna work on right now. Okay, so the math is done and so now George and I, it's almost lunch time but George and I there's George um, we're gonna go take a quick walk and check on the chickens and check on the ducks and also check on the plants it rained really hard last night so I don't think anything needs any water but um, I just want to make sure <laughs> I've tried really hard to get into a good watering schedule and so I don't want to mess that up now <laughs> okay George so George has his little backpack on whoop careful buddy George has his little backpack on. Can you turn around so they can see your backpack? It has a little dinosaur on it. I got, it, it doesn't have anything in it. <laughs> I got him a backpack at Walmart because, um, because he's going to be going into the little nursery next year for the kids co-op on Mondays. And so I thought he might want to have a little backpack. So everything's looking good. Oh, the hydrangea is getting big. Everything looks happy now <laughs> after the rain. It's so much cooler today. It's been in the mid nineties all week. And so my poor plants were looking a little droopy even with the daily watering, but they all look happy and refreshed after that big rain last night. And, um, and um, the cooler temperatures today. It's, it feels like it's 15 degrees cooler than it was yesterday. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'll be in in like five minutes. <laughs> okay, so yep, everything's looking good. There's another hydrangea. And then there's my roses. The one side is blooming now. This side right here was blooming last week and then I don't know if you can see that up there. Those look really pretty though. Okay, here we go. There's some other kids in the chicken coop right now. These are two new roses that I just planted um, last, like in the fall. So we've got two blooms there, that's nice. Okay, George, let's go check on those chickies and ducks. Yep. Okay, I'm coming. There's the duck, Donald. He's the big duck. It looks like he just went on a little swim. <laughs> He's kind of wet. There's Daddy. Let's check on the chickens. They're all out here happy. What are they like, 10 weeks old now? Something like that. About 10 weeks old. We're starting to suspect who might be roosters and who might be hens. 11, that doesn't sound right. Okay, let's go check on the ducks. You wanna check on the ducks, George? Okay, we got five ducks last weekend. 
for Lawrence. They're in here. There they are. They're shy. <laughs> so there's four Anconas and one Cayuga. I'm really hoping the Cayuga is a female. Yep, you see those duckies? Aren't they cute? Aw. Okay. Come on out here. Yep, say bye bye, duckies. Bye bye, ducks. Come on. Okay, shut the door. Good job. Okay, so that was the morning. That's all I've got for today. Ryan's getting ready to take over for lunchtime, and then I gotta curl my hair and change my clothes because I have an estate sale to go to this afternoon. Just dropping it. <laughs> I will see you next time. Bye.